example 5.6. In this example, we evaluate a new process for the treatment of an special material. The material is given with a shape of a sphere or radius of 5 millimeters. The initial temperature is given at 400 Celsius and is located at a furnace. Once it is removed to the, from the furnace, is is going to two different cooling processes. The first process is using air at 20 Celsius, which allows it to reach a temperature of 335 Celsius. The heat transfer coefficient for air is provided. The second cooling process is providing a well stirred water bath, which is at 20 Celsius. The convection coefficient of water is provided. Also note that all the thermal physical properties are given in the problem. What we need to do is calculate the time required to complete each one of the cooling processes. We treat this problem to be one dimensional, non-steady or transient, has constant properties, we neglect radiation and we neglect heat generation. Let's start the analysis with the calculation of the beard number to determine what method to use. We calculate the beard number for each one of the cooling processes. Let's just start for the one in air. So the beard number for air is going to be HA, the characteristic length divided by K. Since we have um, sphere, the characteristic length is going to be given to the radius divided by 3. Therefore, in this case, the beard number for air is going to be HA, the radius. 3k. And for this case, the value is going to be equal to 8.33 times 10 to the negative 4. Since it's below 0.1, we could say that LCM is acceptable in this case. If we use the equation for LCM to find the time, we could say that the time for air is going to be equal to rho Vc divided by h of air surface area, natural log of theta i divided by theta of air. Notice that the initial temperature that we have is going to be 400 Celsius and the temperature that we would like to reach is going to be 335 Celsius. If we substitute all the values that we have and we use that the volume the sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi r to the third and the surface area is 4 pi r to the second we could find that that the time that it takes in the first cooling process is going to be equal to 94 seconds now we do the process for the second cooling step we need to calculate the beard number so this is going to be the beard number for water. Once again, so HW, we use the same characteristic length, and this is going to give us 0.5. Since it's not below 0.1, we cannot use um, LCM. So we have to use the um, analytical solution. However, since we do not know the time, we do not know the value of the first number, so we cannot uh, know at this point whether or not we use the approximation. We are going to assume that it's going to be greater than 0.2 and we're going to go forward and use the approximation and then once we get the value of t we could confirm and analyze whether or not we could get these values. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start the equation of theta at the center and this is going to give us C1 um, EXP minus zeta square F0. Uh, we know that the value of theta 0 star is going to be equal to T0 at the final value of the T water minus T infinity divided by T initial of this process divided by minus t infinity. Please note that this value of theta is evaluated at the center of the sphere. We are going to assume that the initial or the final temperature that is going to have 
at that time TW is going to be uh, uniform throughout so we know that it's going to be 50 Celsius we know the, um, the temperature of the fluid we know the initial temperature at the cycle and therefore we could find out what the value of theta zero star is going to be we could also find out what the values of C1 and zeta 1 are going to be based on the bio number however the bio number that we calculated was using it was for the outside of the sphere since we are going to calculate it for the inside or the center of it the characteristic length it's different and is going to become r0 please keep this in mind when you are doing the calculations uh, it is very important to identify what is the position at which you are calculating the temperature so that you could determine the characteristic length so this is valid since we're using it at the center so we're going to calculate the new build number based with the center position and we're going to use h of water r and k and this is going to give us 1.5 using this build number we're going to the table and for the sphere and we find that the value of c1 is going to give us 1.376 and say that one is going to give us 1.8 having that information we all, we could calculate the value of theta zero star and we have c1 and say that one we could find that the value of the foreign number the foreign number in this case is going to give us 0.82 and then using the relationship that uh, relates the foreign number with the time we could say that the time of the water is going to be the foreign number RO divided by alpha and we could find that the TW is equal to 3.1 seconds so notice that the first part of the cooling process took 94 seconds this one took only 3.1 seconds the total is about 97.1 seconds for the total cooling process. Please go back and understand the steps of this uh, problem and mainly when to use the characteristic length depending of where the temperature is going to be measured at.